Step one of the trick known as future zipper. Basically, it's kind of like a cross-arm trapeze. If you don't know what that is, take a look right now, guys. That's a cross-arm trapeze. Well, at least I think it is. So, instead of actually doing a cross mount like that, you're going to throw a trapeze, hit the string on your uh, non-index finger, push your throw arm forward so it crosses your arms like this, now, as the yo-yo mounts the string while your arms are crossed, see how it touches the string? See how it kind of like made that contact? You're going to roll the yo-yo towards you up and over your throw wrist by using this wrist. It's a very fluid motion, it's very fast, so let's see that again in slow motion. Step two, once you did the rollover your wrist, you're gonna move the yo-yo forward while pulling down with your throw hand wrist. Pull down, and your arms will be recrossed again. Step three, after you did the dismount, so you're basically pulling the string over your non-throw hand index. You're gonna pop it and then immediately cross your arms again and land in a cross arm trapeze. Step four, after you've done the cross arm trapeze slash undermount, just rearrange your fingers so you're back in normal position. Do a rollout then just curl your index finger towards you and then just relaunch the yo-yo out back into that kind of weird roll and then do this trick all over again. Over and over and infinity and beyond. Buzz Lightyear to the rescue. Well, that's the end of the trick of Future Zipper, which is kind of like my sequel to the original 1A Zipper trick. It's a lot of fun. I highly suggest you learn it because it's a really neat effect for a trick and it's really useful for freestyles. Well, I'm Zami of One Drop Yo-Yos. Keep an eye out for more Z tutorials. And later days, guys. Peace out.